Hello, I'm Angela Martin and welcome to another episode of Digicast. Now, on the previous episode, we looked at the new features on the Safari browser. Now, as we have noticed that there's been very little change to the user interface of the browser. However, there have been a lot more new features added to the new Safari browser. New features such as the ability to pin sites onto the tab bar, which makes it even easier to access as well as manage your favorite sites. Safari also gives you the ability to mute sound coming from specific websites as the mute button now appears on the URL if that website or websites contain sound. You also have the ability to play any video coming from a website directly onto the Apple TV as the AirPlay icon is now available on the player within that specific website. Now in this episode, we will look into the improvements and new features within Mail. Now when we open our Mail application, we will notice that there is absolutely no change in the interface from the previous operating system. However, like our Safari browser, Apple have included new swiping techniques that we can utilize within the application. So if we should swipe on any of these messages from right to left, it will reveal our trash button. Also, if we should swipe from left to right, it will reveal our mark as unread button. Or if the message have not been attended to, it will then say mark as read. We also have the ability to change the trash button into an archive button. Now this depends on whether the service provider gives us the ability to archive mail. So if we want to change the trash button to an archive button, we can go to our mail in the top left hand corner and we can click on our preferences and within our preferences, we can click on the viewing tab button and under our viewing tab button, we will see that the option where it says swipe left to trash, we can change that to archive. Now, if we should swipe from right to left again within the message, we'll see that it's now changed to archive. Now, one of the new major features of mail is that a new mail message can be minimized even though the application is in full screen mode. So if I should move the application into full screen mode by clicking on the full screen mode button and I click on compose button to compose a new mail message, I'll see that the minimize button is now available within the new message window. If I click on that minimize button, my new message window is dropped down to the bottom of the screen. Now this becomes useful if I want to take other information from any other mail message within my mailbox. And I can do that without even taking it out of full screen mode. So now if I want to get back to my new mail message window, I can click on the window at the bottom and it will open that window once again. Now the other useful function of having the minimize option is that I can even work on multiple new messages and it will be just added into one window, but under different tabs. So if I should address this new mail message to myself and I will call this test one as my subject line and I minimize it and I click on compose new message and I can see that the second message is now added within the same window, but under a different tab. And there's my test one under a separate tab. Under my new message, I also address this one to myself and the subject line this time will be test two. And there I have test one, test two in a different tab within the same message window. So now I can have multiple messages within one message window contained in different tabs. Another addition to the mail application is that my mail have now different templates also built in and it's available within my new message window under the stationary pane button. So if I should click on the stationary pane button, it will open another drop down menu and I can then select any of the mail templates, which will then give me a more creative mail message 
whether it is for birthdays or even invites. For now, I'll go back to my stationary option and I'll choose original, which will make it into my original blank mail message. And I can click on the stationary pane again to close that menu. Now that we have seen the major features within my mail application, there's also another big improvement that was done within mail. So if I should close down all my mail messages, and I don't save it for now, and I'll bring it back into window mode. The other improvement on mail is that it has the ability to easily add in locations on maps. So I've sent an email to myself with an address on it. So if I should go to Angelo, it will, and there is the email. And I'll see there's my address. If I should click on that address, it will give me a drop down arrow and it will give me the location on a map. I can then add it to an existing contact or even into a new contact, or I can open it within my maps, which will then give me the location on my maps application. Now, while in maps, I'll see that it gives me also the transit information. If I should go into my transit button, however, it's not available within any location in South Africa at the moment. However, if you are in the States, in Europe, or even Australia, and some parts in Asia, you are able to even see the transit information within the maps now available within your iOS devices, within your iOS 9, as well as El Capitan. So these are the improvements as well as new features of mail within El Capitan. Also a quick look of the transit information within maps, especially useful for those who do travel to these countries where this information becomes available. Now within our next episode, we'll look at the new features within photos. So thank you for watching this episode of Digicast with me, Angela Martin. Hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye.